my name is Mark Drew. I'm from the Shropshire Star newspaper, and uh, I'm just going to talk just for a little while about um, about journalism and the possibilities of getting getting a career in journalism. I'll um, I'll talk a little bit about myself, about the paper, about why newspapers make a difference as well. Um, some of the skills needed if you want to become a journalist, how to get into journalism, and the uh, and the career paths you may. Uh, get following journalism. It's worth making the point that Boris Johnson used to work for the Express of Star as a very young man, and Jeremy Corbyn used to work for the Shropshire Star as a very young man. So you could find yourself going almost all the way to the top if you uh, decide to become a journalist. Um, as I say, my name's Mark Drew. Uh, I've been in journalism for about 30 years. Um, when I first started, there was no such thing as internet. So um, the career path was a lot more straightforward. Um, I went to university, did a degree in English. I then, from that, did a postgraduate course in journalism. Uh, they still exist. You don't need to have a degree to get into journalism. Uh, I'll get on to that in a, in a bit. But I did a, a, a fast track postgraduate course, 20 week course in Cardiff. Um, and from that, uh, I managed to get myself onto a weekly newspaper uh, it, down in the Cotswolds, which was very poorly paid, but also uh, great fun. Uh, spent two years there, managed to get onto the daily newspaper in Bristol, the Evening Post, spent uh, three or four years there, uh, worked my way up and became news editor then at the Swindon, Adver Swindon Advertiser before moving up to the Midlands and working for the Express and Star for 15 years, moving to the Shropshire Star, um, the sister paper, for uh, four or five years. And I'm now currently group uh, deputy editor with a responsibility for both the Shropshire Star and the Express and Star, as well as the weeklies and the websites. So it's a, it's a been a been a bit of a journey, but uh, that's where I am. And it's 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 a it's a good job. It's it's a it's a job that brings with it responsibility. We we reach around a million people every week uh, through all our different titles that we're responsible for. So it's it's incumbent on us to make sure that we get things right. And sometimes we get things wrong, but we uh, we then put it right. But uh, it's a big responsibility as a local newspaper to get the information that people want and make sure it's, it's, uh, it's correct. Um, the Shropshire Star is part of the Midland News Association, um, which is obviously best known for the Shropshire Star and the Express and Star. Both are big papers, as local papers, they're big. The Shropshire Star is in the top six in the country and the Express and Star is actually the biggest selling regional newspaper in the country. In print on, and online, uh, the Express and Star reaches about 240,000 people every day. In fact, that's gone up to nearer 300,000 since lockdown. And the Shropshire Star uh, reaches up upwards of 125 to 150,000 people uh, a day. On top of that, we've got a huge social media audience, quarter of a million people on Twitter, 190,000 people on, on Facebook. We do a Instagram photographic um, gallery, uh, which, which we have uh, thousands of people taking part in. That feeds into the newspaper and our social media as well. Uh, and as, as well as the uh, daily paper, we have all the weekly titles that you may know about in, in Shropshire, some of which are paid for, some of which are, are free. Um, we're still family owned as a newspaper, which is you know unusual and also good because the family who own us, the Graham family, do very much uh, value local news. They're based in Claverley and uh, they're local people. And also, as, as a group, we, we, we uh, are quite broad. We have newspapers in the Channel Islands. We also own uh, a company that produces children's comics down in Bath in Somerset. So there's all kinds of possibilities within, the, within journalism, not just newspapers. Um, why does journalism matter? Well, more so now than ever, I think, in, the, in, in this world when there's lots of talk of fake news, um, and in the world of social media, local newspapers especially uh, do have a responsibility to try and show uh, the truth of what's going on locally. Um, 40.6 million people still look at the local media in print and digital each month. So there is, a, there is still a, a hunger for local news. And 65% of people who read a newspaper every day, the majority, will read a local newspaper. Um, so uh, there is, there is a, uh, a big market out there for local newspapers. Um, and we're trusted. Generally, as a local paper, if we, if we write about something in Shropshire and we get it wrong, we hear about it very quickly. 
it's in, it's in our interest to make sure that we uh, do things right. Um, and therefore people trust us. Uh, and in a world when all kinds of information is flying around, especially on social media, uh, it's important as a journalist, and most important thing probably, but also important as a newspaper generally, when you're putting it together, that the facts in the paper are correct as well. There's more, as, I, as I've mentioned, there's more sources of news and information than ever before. Um, social media is a phenomenon that wasn't there when I first started. The sources of information when I first started journalism were a phone call, a fax or a letter. And now there's all kinds of information that reporters will, will go onto Facebook forums and uh, you know, a, a, mil a million sources, which can be very confusing, can be misleading. So as a journalist, it's important that you know the importance of getting to the facts. Trusted sources, that's the, that's the important thing. As a local newspaper, we shine a light on decisions and decision makers. Not many media now go to council meetings. Now council meetings can be very boring. And if you go into newspapers or, or journalism, you will at some point go to a council meeting, which tend to be quite dull, but very important issues are discussed at them. And the fact that local newspapers still go to these meetings means that the people in charge know that they're being watched and they therefore uh, know that they, they're accountable to the public. So it's an important part of being a local newspaper. Uh, generally, newspapers are seen circulations for less people are buying newspapers, actual, the actual physical paper. That's across the board, both local and nationally. Online, however, our audience is huge uh, and it increases um, incredibly quickly. Uh, in lockdown, it's, it's, uh, it's grown hugely. Um, that means that the influence we have still is, is maintained. And also uh, our stories are being seen all around the world, not just locally as well. So if you get into journalism, you have the, the chance to influence people, to make a difference um, and to, you know, to have an interesting job that, uh, that uh, is important. So as I said, we hold decision makers to account. That's one of the main jobs of a local journalist. And that's something that is very important in, in local newspapers, not just newspapers in, in journalism generally, uh, broadcasting as well. Um, during, during the flooding early in the year, we, uh, we did campaigns to help those who were affected. Um, it was very important, it seems a long time ago now before lockdown. During lockdown, obviously it was a challenge, many people working from home. Um, but again, we, our job was to try and highlight the people who were, who were doing good work during lockdown. We put forms in the paper for people to fill in and put into their neighbours' uh, doors to see if they, if they needed any help or any shopping. Um, we did a huge amount of work on, online as well, um, acting uh, to try and put, put people in need in touch with people who could help. So as well as just being a local newspaper and reporting on what was going on, we were actively trying to help, working with councils, working with authorities, using the resources we had to make a huge difference. Um, if you want to become a reporter, uh, the chances are you'll go to courts, council, public meetings, events. If you go into sport, football matches, many more, uh, many more uh, things uh, besides. No one day is, is, is the same as another. Um, you can meet some inter interesting people. I've, I've met the last three prime ministers um, in various uh, occasions uh, I've met celebrities at the local panto it's, it's good fun if you're a reporter you meet people who you will see on the telly who are famous you'll meet people who are interesting you'll meet inspiring people ordinary people who are doing inspiring things um, the most important thing is that we take news very seriously um, and that those who are in power take newspapers seriously too because they know that we have an influence um, you'll see the stories we did during lockdown that's one of the front pages we did at the very start of lockdown now during during lockdown um everybody here started working from, from home it was a big challenge um but we managed to to get get through it and actually uh the whole process has shown the the the, the um the worth of, of, of what we do. It really did come home to us just how important we were as a form of communication um, locally uh, within Shropshire. So the skills, if you want to be a journalist, be interested, you know, nothing wrong with being nosy to a certain extent, be interested in what's happening around you. 
if you're not interested in what's happening around you, there's no point being a journalist. You know, you need to be interested in what's happening and be interested in current affairs and news. You need to be determined, be prepared to work hard for stories. You need to have great communication skills. You need to make contacts with people. You need to gain the trust of people, um, people in authority, ordinary people as well. You need to have empathy with your readers. You know, we, we are we're all living uh, in the West Midlands and in Shropshire. Um, if there's big events like flooding going on, it affects us all. You need to have empathy with the readers and, um, you know, be seen to be part of what they're living through. You need to be a thick skin. Being a journalist doesn't always make you popular. Um, having said that, you know, the, the, some of the stories that, that went round with the national newspapers, you know, aren't shared with the local newspaper. Uh, local newspapers, we're very much um, accountable for what we do. And we're very concerned at the Shropshire Star that we act ethically and do the right thing. But if you do a story about um, something a, a council may not be pleased with or a councillor may not be pleased with, you may not, you may get some stick from that person. You need to have a thick, sti thick skin and stick up for the people who, uh, who count. You, have an, you need to have an ability to write clearly and concisely. Um, it's very difficult to write a news story with short sentences and be concise. It's a, it, it really is a skill uh, and one you can learn. But you need to be able to cut through jargon. You need to be able to look at a council agenda and try and get a decent story from it. Obviously now you need digital skills, social media, video, podcasting is as much a part of being a journalist as writing for a newspaper or for a website. Our reporters now will go out to a job, they will interview people, they will write a story, they will do a video clip um, and they may be part of a podcast. So having that multidisciplinary uh, approach to it, uh, which to young people comes more naturally than it does to people like me, is, is very, very important because social media is the future, it really is. Um, it, you need to be resilient, it's not an easy job and you should never count on it being nine to five. Being a journalist isn't a nine to five job. You could be working long hours, you could be working antisocial hours. Um, it can be difficult, it can be uncomfortable, but it also can be, uh, it can be great fun. So how do you become a journalist? There's various routes into journalism. Uh, you can look at university courses. There are now apprenticeships for journalism. We have uh, three uh, people, uh, reporters who have got, come into us through apprenticeships here. Um, you can look at things like the BBC, have their own training schemes. It's worth uh, looking on their website for that. Um, if you are serious about getting into newspapers, then you really must have what an NCTJ qualification, National Council for the Training of Journalists. If you go onto the NCTJ website, that will give you the information you need to, uh, to, to get on into, into journalism. It's also important if you're looking at journalism courses and you are serious about getting into newspapers, that that course is affiliated with the NCTJ. Doesn't mean you can't get into journalism without that. So there's many ways into it. I mean, people who do podcasts uh, and, and, and YouTubers are examples of people who can make money and make a career out of being social journalists, if you like. Um, but if you want to get into newspapers and, and journalism seriously, the NCTJ uh, is important. The first stage is the NCTJ Diploma in Journalism, um, which is a qualification. Uh, and you'll cover uh, issue, issues like law, public affairs, interviewing and shorthand. And once you pass that, uh, the most difficult part is the shorthand, you need to get 100 words a minute. Um, you, that is then followed up with an NQJ, um, which is a senior qualification. And that comes after you've worked 18 months within a newsroom. And that then be, you then become a senior uh, news reporter. As I say, that's the traditional route into newspapers. There's many other routes as well. That, uh, that people will, you can go through, but that is very important. If you want to go into journalism, you must look for the N NCTJ qualification. Um, but the key Sorry, thing Mark. is, I'm I'll be very key, get, if go on, thing, go on. get work experience and try and get placements. It's very important to try and uh, show that you're keen to, to be hands-on and get experience if you try and get into the, into the uh, industry.